All right, here's another tip using Logic Pro X. It's called selection-based processing. Now, you select your audio file, and then you select the piece of audio that you'd like to apply this effect to or technique to. So I'm going to select this sample for now. Here's what, here's what it sounds like before I even do anything to it. So selection-based processing says this. Whatever you have selected, you can decide to process just or bake a certain effect or multiple effects into the audio file without inserting it on the audio channel itself. So for example, using that same file, let's say I inserted an EQ on that selected piece of audio. Now I'm going to apply a low cut filter, a high cut, sorry, or a low pass. And if I sweep or cut out all of the high frequencies here, here's what it'll sound like. So that's me inserting it on the channel itself. Now, if I just wanted to do that same effect with like a plugin, for example, or even that same EQ, but bake it into the audio file so that I wouldn't have to insert it on the channel and use up additional processing resources, all you do is select your audio, press W on your keyboard, right here where it says track click on that and then go to where it says functions and down here where it says selection based processing click on that let's move that out of the way let's go back and select our piece of audio that we're gonna apply this to notice as I drag that over you saw this move right here alright so for example I'm gonna do the same thing let's say with this, let's use an EQ again. Same EQ. Now I'm gonna press pre-listen to make my selection prior to processing the file. so now if I like that all I have to do is hit apply like so close that out now that selection has that filter applied to it without having the EQ directly inserted on the channel strip itself and you can hear it and that's off so you know that's not doing anything Now, if you made a mistake or you don't like it and you want to change it, simply press undo. It's going to return the file back to its normal state. And that's how you do selection-based processing. All right. Um, and like I said, you can do it with multiple plugins. So let's say, for example, Effectrix right here. If I wanted to apply this effect just to that selection, since it's already selected, pre-listen. Alright, so if I wanted to use that, even though that sounds cheesy, um, I would simply do the same thing. Hit apply. It bakes it into the audio file. I can even turn off 
Effectrix on the panel right there. And it's baked into the file with it's baked into the file without me having to put it on the channel strip itself. And you can do this to as much files as as many as you want. Um let's undo that. And add a multiple, you know, multiple effects, multiple effects. If you need any more help on how to use this, there's some really great tutorials on YouTube with other people showing uh, how to use this. So this is just a quick tip to help somebody out. Let me know if you, if it helped. Um, leave a comment. Share it. Help somebody else out. Return the favor. Each one, teach one. All right.